back there, sir. Yeah, um, how long did it take you in production to do your voiceover? Oh, you mean for Duke Nukem Forever, for just yeah. that game? In comparison to Duke Nukem 3D and this one now. Oh, okay, now Duke Nukem 3D was all done in one session, in one afternoon, in 1995. <laughs> long time ago. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever was four or five sessions that run about two to three hours each. Um, what a lot of people don't know is, for, now mo most voice actors will go into a studio somewhere and just record and then walk away when they're done. I don't do that because I own and operate my own studio. So what I do is I'll record all of the dialogue while they, while they listen in over a phone patch, and then afterwards I spend another hour to two hours cleaning the audio before I send it off to, uh, in this case, Gearbox Software. And by cleaning the audio, that means no breaths. I edit them all out. No mouth noises, which I get a lot of. Uh, I have a very sensitive microphone made by Neumann. You know, it's a really high-end mic. And it picks up everything, every little noise, spit noise, the whole works. And I have to go in and zoom in on the waveform and edit those out. Because I don't know if they would do that at the game development company. But I want the Duke voiceover to be perfect when I send it. So I take the time to, to do all of that. And that adds time. So the Duke sessions, you know, four or five of them, two or three hours recording, and then another two hours cleaning the audio before I send them off. So I know it sounds like, oh yeah, well, big deal, you put 10, 12 hours into it. Uh, no, I'm a, um, I'm a perfectionist, too. Are I you? Yeah. Cool. You're anal retentive? Yeah. All right, man. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Next meeting's at 4 o'clock this afternoon.